So in this video, let us see the planning and designing of the medial planter artery flap. We will, as always, begin with marking of the important anatomical landmarks. So we have the weight bearing heel. We don't want our flap to encroach on that. Midpoint of the weight bearing heel, we draw a straight line. Through the second web space, we draw another line onto the sole. And these lines are then combined or sort of fused together, approximated together. The area beyond these lines or beyond this line is the weight bearing area. We don't want our flap to encroach on that area as well. Then that is the medial malleolus. When we invert the foot, the tibialis posterior tendon becomes taut. It gets inserted on the navicular, which is somewhere over there. Beyond the navicular, we have the cuneiform. Beyond the cuneiform, what we palpate is the first metatarsal. So that is the axis of the first metatarsal. Then we have the ball of the great toe or the metatarsal head. It is again the weight bearing area. We don't want our flap to encroach on that area as well. Anterior aspect of the ankle as well as the posterior heel or the tendo Achilles region. We can alter the pivot point depending upon our requirements of the defect. Thank you.